What's up YouTube? Today I wanted to show you guys the very first custom shoe I made, but actually use this as a discussion piece for today's topic. This is the Puma GV Special. It was originally an all white sneaker, and I obviously painted it in green and red to draw inspiration from the Gucci colorway or Christmas, really anything red and green for that nature. For these being my very first custom sneaker, they actually turned out a lot better than I expected. If you look up close, there's obviously little flaws, but really from a distance, it looks really clean and you can barely even tell. I bought some white and green leather sneakers just to add a little bit of a premium aesthetic. These leather laces have a nice gold aglet at the tips and the laces of course are really good quality as well. It also helps that the Puma sneaker itself already had the gold foil branding which also adds a nice premium aesthetic to the sneaker and pairing it with the nice leather laces gives it a nice premium look. So which laces do you guys think looks better with these sneakers? The white? or the green. So looking at the final product here, I thought I'd take this opportunity to ask the question, do you think luxury or luxury inspired sneakers are trendy or tacky? I remember a point in time when it was a really popular thing. A lot of customizers were doing the whole white sneaker thing with the Gucci print, the Louis Vuitton print, the Burberry print, drawing inspiration from luxury items or luxury brands just to make the sneaker more premium or more luxurious. But my question for you is, do you think that's trendy or tacky? I have a great appreciation for what customizers and artists are able to do. And I think custom kicks are actually what makes an individual unique. It makes an individual stand out more instead of everyone just wearing the same generic sneakers. So I went to my Instagram to ask this question. Based on everyone that voted, I was actually surprised at the results. And here are the results. Out of everyone that voted, 42% voted trendy and 58% voted tacky. Now, obviously this poll has its limitations. It was a limited sample size. It was a very specific demographic that voted on this questionnaire. But aside from the limitations of this poll, I thought it was really interesting to get some outside perspective. A few of my friends were also kind enough to elaborate on their responses, so I thought I'd share them. So the homie Josh, he says, if it makes you happy, no harm in it. Just not my thing. Okay, it's kind of tacky, haha. Ha. 1K is too much. I'm pretty much all for that first statement. I think really, again, it's no harm in it, and if you enjoy it, then you do you, and it really shouldn't matter what anyone else thinks. And then he goes into the 1K is too much, and uh, interestingly enough, that was a very common recurring theme in some of the other comments I received about the, the money and the financial aspect of this question. So I'm gonna dive into that in just a bit. But shout outs to Josh. Appreciate the comment, bro. My girlfriend T says, tacky because no one has money for that. And then my friend Susan with a similar comment says, out of my budget, cry laugh emoji. So yeah, I mean, to be honest, the prices of luxury brands and sneakers uh, specifically can be pretty much flat out ridiculous, especially for the average middle class consumer. And again, the price point was, uh, seemed to be a dictating factor for a lot of people's opinions here. Sneakers really shouldn't, and I don't think, cost that much to make. And so if it doesn't cost much to make, it shouldn't cost that much to buy. And for that reason, if something is unnecessarily expensive, that in itself can make it just be a, a tacky trend or a tacky decision. <laughs> Let me know if you agree with that or not. But thank you T and Susan for that comment. My two homies, Ben and Daniel, both have very similar comments as well. Ben says, tacky and bro. <sighs> And Daniel says, tacky AF, all caps. Pretty straightforward and insightful feedback, I guess. Shoutouts to Ben and Daniel, though. My friend Jane says, both. Some look nice and some don't. Simple, but true. I don't think this is a black and white question at all. There's obviously a lot of it depends and a lot of gray area in the spectrum here. Some luxury sneakers are, you know, crafted and made very well and actually made very tastefully. And obviously there are others that are just over the top, overly and unnecessarily pricey, hence why it may be tacky in the eyes of others. For me, again, as long as they're subtle and done tastefully, I can buy with them. Some examples that I like are the Balenciaga sock sneakers and the Common Projects. And in my opinion, the ones that are a little more on the tacky end are the uh, Maison Margiela's, the ones that look like the trash bags, <laughs> and the Gucci ones with uh, all those little studs and diamonds on it. Those are a little just over the top for me. But again, that's just my personal opinion. 
So let me know what y'all think about that one. But thank you, Jane, for the comment. One more comment I wanted to share coming from the buddy Torrance. He says, most are tacky. The whole appeal of luxury sneakers are on the extreme spectrum of design. I find this comment very interesting because I feel like people in general are driven towards things that they actually have an affinity or an interest towards. So for example, if you're a sneakerhead, then you love sneakers a lot more. If you're a painter, then you can really appreciate the intricacies of a piece of artwork or just painting in general a lot more. And people who are into fashion specifically have an affinity for like fabrics and colors and materials a lot more than others. So same thing with diving into the world of luxury. If you have some level of appreciation for luxurious materials, colors, and high prices, those people will gravitate a lot more towards the luxurious appeal versus the average person who has no interest or does not appreciate or understand those kind of things as much. So yeah, shout out to Torrance for that comment. So again, I would love to hear your thoughts. Do you think luxury sneakers are trendy or tacky? And also going along the lines of custom sneakers, what are your thoughts on custom shoes in general? Leave your comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. I post videos on footwear, fashion, and the philosophy behind these things. Feedback is also appreciated. Thanks for listening, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Peace.